in your song Forever, you open up a little bit about your experience with self-harm when you were a teenager, um, rapping about taking pills to get rid of your body fat and how you still have scars on your wrists from cutting. What inspired you to dive into that dark part of your life in song and why is it so crucial that we face those issues in art? Um, I think, again, you know, I talk about like the healing power of music. Mm -hmm. um, and the type of music that always like resonated with me was was the kind that like told personal, sto personal mm -hmm. stories. And for me, um, that was a story that I had never really told. Um, something, I'm, quite honestly, I was ashamed of, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I realized years later that it had become such a part of me that I didn't even notice like these, I, I didn't even notice the scars anymore. You know, mm -hmm. and when when reflecting on it, I was like, wow, this this is has become a part of me and it has been a part of my development into in the woman into the woman I am now. Um, and at the time, while it was so traumatic for me, it was so hurtful. I was, you know, I was kind of like in this really dark space um, going through that and finding, you know, that clarity and finding that light was so, um, was a, a, a lengthy journey. But when I thought about it, I was like, okay, this is something that, you know, we don't talk about a lot. We talk about, um, we're supposed to hide, you know, those things. We're supposed to hide those un unsavory bits of ourselves. When we ask mm -hmm. each other, like how we're doing, we don't really want to know how the mm -hmm. person is really doing. We just want like this perfunctory answer of like, I'm good, right. you know? Um, but what would happen if we talked about those things? Would there then be someone who's like, yo, like I felt that way too, or I went through that too. And I needed to hear that, you know? And I thought about like, if my teenage self, if my preteen self had heard this song, you know, mm. would things have turned out differently? And I don't regret the things that, you know, I experienced. I think that they, they made me a stronger person and they made me wiser in many ways. But mm -hmm. for me, it was important for this, for me, especially during like the whole social media age where this illusion of perfection is like imposed upon us, you know? Yes. It was important for me to create something that was just like, yo, like you are so beautiful just the way you are. You don't need to like mirror someone else's life. You don't need to hide these things. And I've been seeing so, mo so much more of that, you know? Women who are like burn victims, who are, you know, proudly like showing their skin, you know, people, yeah. uh, Kiki Palmer just like revealed like, yes. oh man, that was so yeah. excellent for her to make that post. I was blown away. Oh, beautiful. So, so. You're so beautiful. Yeah. And so, you know, it was just like, you know, we're done hiding. We are so dope. Like we are, you know, of course there's always the potential for growth and change, but the, the things that fundamentally make us who we are. Um, we shouldn't have to hide that because we're trying to adhere to this like societal standard of normality or like perfection. No, I agree. And that's, uh, I always say on this show that social media is a gift and a curse. And one of the gifts is being able to be invited in, inside of people's vulnerable moments. Because uh, for Kiki Palmer, as we were just talking about, for her to post that and to show her skin when her skin always looks flawless, it really touched me because whenever I have skin problems, it's like, I don't want to leave the house. I don't want to post on social media. I go into hiding, but it's a normal thing. And songs like you have, like, there's a lot of teens that are out there, you know, cutting themselves or trying to get skinny. And I remember the Save by the Bell mm -hmm. episode used to always um, resonate with me when Jesse was taking those pills. And she ended up like passing out or whatever. And I was like, you know, I don't want to do that because I don't want to end up, you know, how she did. Yeah. yeah. That is funny because that episode, like I remember that episode, like, you know, like it was yesterday. But um, yeah, like it, it's important. It's important for me to like keep that realness, you know, that transparency to a certain extent, because you have to hold certain things to yourself. Like mm -hmm. yeah. it's necessary to, to maintain a sense of privacy because people already get extra. They'd be like, a side of Perkins, you know, coming up to me at shows talking about a side of Perkins. I'm like, uh, I'm side rock in this realm. Like, <laughs> we not, I know you looked at your Wikipedia and everything, but, uh, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's important to maintain, uh, a, that sense of privacy. But and for me, like, it's also important to allow people to see that you are a human being mm -hmm. and 
you know, there is a certain, while there is a certain mysticism and mystery surrounding artists, um, it is, uh, it's, it's, you're able to reach people so much more deeply when you reveal yourself to just be like a real person. What we don't start it. Look at what we don't start it. Just the people party. When opportunity to knock it, then young nigga move that door. Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow go with it. What's the world?